All right, today I have an Apple Watch and I'm going to show you how to turn on and off the Apple Watch. Right here is the Apple Watch right here. You see it has buttons on the sides of it. Now, in order to turn it on and off, you're going to have to know which buttons to press. All right, so but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you. It's currently on. And so what I'm going to do now is to turn it off. So on this Apple Watch right here, there is a knob right there and there's a button. In order to turn it off, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to press and hold down on this button right here. I'm going to press and hold down. And you see what happened right there. A screen popped up and it gives me the option of turning on the siren during an emergency, do an emergency call with the SOS. And I can cancel out of this if I want to. If I made a mistake, I can cancel out of it, but I did not make a mistake. So I'm going to bring this up and in order to turn off the phone, after I turn, excuse me, after, to turn off the Apple Watch, you're going to have to do this. And after I turn it off, I'm going to show you how to turn it on, which is different from how to turn it off. So stick with me. So I have this screen up. Remember, I held this down, came up, emergency call, siren, and cancel. Last time I press cancel. Now if I do siren, it will sound as a siren will. Emergency call, it'll make an emergency call. But in order to power it off, I go ahead and press this power button right here. It pops up, and then I take my finger, and I take that across, and it powers down the Apple Watch. Now, to turn it back on, you don't press the same button right here. That's not going to do anything. It's not going to bring up any screen whatsoever. I do, however, have to press down on this knob right here. Oh. That actually worked. I didn't know I could do that. So I pressed and held this down and it powered up. But usually what I do is I go ahead and press and hold down this button and it brings up the power button. So I'm guessing if you hold down these buttons and maybe perhaps this one for about three to five seconds, it will power up. Well, anyway, that's what it's doing right now. It's powering up. And as soon as it comes to the screen, I'm going to show you what it looks like. There's an apple on the middle, and it takes quite a while for it to come up. And so now it's asking me to enter my passcode. So I'm going to enter my passcode really quick. So I entered my passcode, and it's back up. And so that's how you power up the Apple Watch, and that is how you power it down. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.